Welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Basketball with the New Hampshire Wildcats. We are through season nine, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we just finished season nine. Uh, we are well. We're at the conference tournament, which is where we normally are. It was another successful season on the court. Got some some concerns with recruiting, which I'll show you in a minute. But uh, we finished, as you see, 20 and 7, 13 and 3 in the conference. Uh, we did finish first in the conference, so we will be moving up um, to Conference L next season. So we're making the moves here. If you take a look at the stats, um, you can see our three best players are all juniors. Sean Nixon is just an absolute monster 14 points, eight and a half rebounds, six assists, a steal, and a block a game. He's a machine, and we get him back next year. I was concerned about Chris Fishback because he dropped to a two star potential player, uh, but he's still averaging 13 and four, even though, even though he hasn't started a game this year, shooting 60% from the field. Um, Averaging 13, like I said. Esteban Carraza having a nice season for us, 12-4. and four. Uh, And then we've got our four seniors, Burris, Henderson, Harmon, and Sedelnikov. Um, Sedelnikov averaging four, but the other three seniors are all averaging nine. So that's that's the good. That's the good stuff. The bad stuff is we lose Burris, Henderson, Harmon, Sedelnikov, and Hayward O'Neal uh, at the end of this season. And we have landed exactly zero recruits. So far, uh, we have a couple recruits that are interested in us, but much like last year, they're both dummies. Uh, Andrew Capel, uh, 780 SAT score in Casey Cephas, and 810s, and either are eligible for our team. Um, so we have some recruiting, so we have some offers out to some people, um, but we have five open scholarships, and I really don't want to be dealing with five transfers because we'll be like six men deep next year if that's the case. We'll have like seven scholarship players and five walk-ons or something. So I'm really hoping that we can sort this out here over the next couple of weeks and at least land one or two of these recruits who have some basic interest in us. I don't even care if it's this Chris Brown guy. Uh, two-star recruit. I just need to get some some scholarship players in to work with some of the players that we have coming in next year. We do have three players that are that are transfers. Rod Smith, who's a two and a half star, four star. Derek Fowler, who's a one and a half star, three and a half star, and Tevis Stokes, who's a four star. Um, so we're gonna have these guys for a couple of years. We'll have Ron Smith for three, so or we'll have him for two and these guys for one, I think. So we're only gonna have these guys for next year. So it could start to get bumpy here over the next couple of years unless we're able to figure out something with our recruiting. Um, but we'll see. So where do I want to go? I'll wait for this to finish loading. So yeah, so that's kind of where we are. You can see we're on a pretty, uh, we're on a relative hot streak. We've won our last five. Uh, our last loss was back on Valentine's Day at Utah Valley. Um, so we are into the conference tournament. So we're going to go ahead and sim ahead to hopefully the championship game. And uh, we'll play that one, and then we'll see what the NCAA tournament brings. If we lose, we'll go right to the NCAA tournament, play that game. So this may be a uh, one game, or this may be a NCAA tournament game, off season slash next season game. It may be a conference championship um, NCAA game. I, we'll see. I'm going to play two games either way. So we'll see what ends up happening. So we win there in the first round, so that's good. It's win number six in a row. So our, our goals this year were to win the conference tournament and win 20 games, which we did both of. So we are in good shape there. So we won, what was the score? 81 to 64. Uh, Nixon, 17, 9, and 6, just continues to do what he's done all year. Burris had 7 points, 13 rebounds. Henderson with 12. Sedelnikov with 10 off the bench. I don't think I can do anything with recruiting right now. I have it set on full recruit list, so it's going to take just a second to load. I can't do anything yet. I have everybody. Um, I'm watching film on my 10 players, so we take on Liberty in the conference semifinals, and we win there as well, so that's seven in a row. So we are going to play. Oh, Brandon Varley's injured. That's no good. So we're going to be taking on Coastal Carolina in the final. We won 77-66. to 66. 
Nixon 14, 9, and 7. Harmon had 19. Henderson had 13. Fishback had 14 and 8 off the bench. So we are going to be taking on 18 and 11. Coastal Carolina. If we look at them, they averaged 73 a game, gave up 70 a game. So we're better offensive, better defensive, better shooting team. Uh, we turned the ball over less. So in theory, this should be a pretty simple win, but we'll see how it goes. I still don't think I can do anything with recruiting. Just double checking. I should switch this over to interested recruits now, just so it doesn't take as long to load the next time. So yeah, I'm concerned about recruiting. I'm concerned that we're going to have a very shallow roster next year if we can't get any of these guys on board. But that's not for that's not a now problem because there's nothing I can do about it. So let's get to this game against Coastal Carolina. Looking to pick up our 23rd win of the season as we take on the Chanticleers. They start Larry Clay and Sterling Harris in the backcourt. Brett Giles, Langston Canty, and Orlando Moreland in the front court. They get a couple guys averaging 10 a game, but that's it. For us, it's the same lineup. Henderson and Harmon off the uh, in, in the backcourt. Nixon, Burris, Carraza in the front court. Let's get to it. So they get the ball first, turn it over, miss jumper by Nixon, and they get the first basket of the game. There's an and one for Burris. That's nice. Four to three Chanticleers. And we turn it over. So we're down by a point early. It's okay. We get the ball right back. A couple of fouls called on Coastal Carolina. Sorry about that. And Henderson drills a three from the top of the key. So Henderson's played pretty well this year. Another three-pointer for Henderson. He's got six. Miss jumper, two free throws by Nixon, and we're up seven here early. Two free throws for Carraza, and it's a nine-point game. So we play a zone. Two free throws by Nixon. He's got four points, three assists, and two rebounds already. Burris gets the shot. Nixon's now got four, four, and two. Well on his way to another stat-stuffing game. 19 to 4 as we have really blown this one open early. 21 to 6 as Sedelnikov hits that shot. 23 to 6. 25. Oof. 19 point lead here early in this one. 21 point lead as Carraza gets two free throws. And they had an opportunity at an and one. Burris with the easy basket there. 29 to 10 here early in this one. 29 12 as they get four in a row. There's a jumper for Burris, who's had a really nice first half. 11 points on five of five shooting. It's an 18 point UNH lead. They get one free throw. Shot from the Paint is good by Burris. Lead back to 19. Turnover by Nixon. Actually, I think that was Fishback who's in the game now. 33-16, to 16, UNH with the lead. Midway through the first half. We scored 30 points in 10 minutes. Fishback in the paint misses that one. Two points for Burris. Miss three pointer. One out of two at the line for Varley. We're up by 20 now. Lead back down to 18. In the paint is Carraza. He's got six and three in the first half. It's a 17 point lead as they came back and hit a three. 40 to 21 as Harmon gets his first basket of the game. Nixon, 4.7 assists, 2 rebounds, 3 blocks in the first half. It's quite a half. In the paint, 1 out of 2 there for UNH. It's a 22-point lead. We had, I think, 2 or 3 games where we broke 100 this season. So the offense, 
Uh, really, really sharp as Nixon gets a couple of free throws. We have three really good offensive players in uh, Nixon, uh, Carraza, and Henderson. There's a jumper by Harmon. It's a 21-point lead. We've got 49 points with a minute and a half left in the first half. They get one out of two at the line. It's an 18-point lead. There's a three-pointer by and a heart by Harmon hits a three. Thought that was Henderson. No, it was Corliss Harmon. There's another three-pointer, that time by Varley. Three-pointer missed at the buzzer. Rebound put back is good. So we go to the half, running away from Coastal Carolina, 57 to 31. So for the Chanticleers, they only got eight points out of their starters. Canty and Moreland each had four. Giles, Clay, and Harris all played and didn't score. Wilkes off the bench had nine. Die had eight. Kit with three, Masco with two, Smith with one, Mountain or Mooton played and didn't score. For us, Burris, 17 points and five rebounds in the first half. Nixon doing his thing. He only attempted one shot, but he had six points, four rebounds, seven assists, and three blocks in that first half. Henderson and Harmon each had nine. Carraza had six. Sedelnikov with six off the bench. Varley with four. Fishback uh, had a tough one. Didn't score in the first in 11 minutes. Uh, O'Neal Gilmore and Angner all played and didn't score. We shot 58%. We were 4 of 5 from behind the line and 17 of 18 from the charity stripe compared to 42, 20, and 60 for them. So uh, we are comfortably ahead here moving to the second half as we look to get the automatic bid again to the NCAA tournament. Shouldn't be a problem at this point. There's a jumper by Nixon, his first made basket of the game. Give him eight. 61 to 34. Only question is, are we going to hit 100? Long possession for the Cats. Missed jumper. We get the rebound. Foul called. Right in the paint, there goes Harmon with the jam, and it's a 29-point lead. So our offense has been just on fire in this one. Players that have struggled with their shot are not struggling with their shots here tonight. Another foul. They get the ball back, down 29. Miss jumper. Yeah, so it looks like we're really taking our time on this possession. Or on this, in this second half. We only scored a handful of points, but we're killing some time. Miss three-pointer, offensive rebound, shot, put back is good by Carraza. Nixon, eight, nine, four, and three. He's, uh, I don't think he's going to reach triple-double territory because he's going to come up short on rebounds, I think. But uh, he's had a couple of triple-doubles this year. I think he had two. There's a three-pointer by Nixon. So he's got 11 points, nine assists, five rebounds. And this is a normal game for him. Missed three-pointer. 70 to 42. 70 to 44 as they get another basket. Baseline jumper by Fishback. He finally gets on the board. It's a 23-point game as they get the and one. Missed three. Shot from the paint, no good. Put back by Burris is good, though. It's a 22-point game. They're trying to make a bit of a run here. O'Neal hits that one. And Nixon's got his 10 assists. 11 points, 10 assists, 6 rebounds. So we're up 22, make it 28 as Angener scores the walk-on. Here's a jumper, no good. They get that shot. It's a 22-point lead. Turnover by us. Make it a 20-point game. So they're trying to make a run here. They were down by 29. They're now down by 20 with the basketball. Eighteen point lead. Missed 
Miss three pointer. They're gonna come down. Nope. Oh, we get the ball back on a missed shot. And we get a basket there as Varley hits that one to put us back up 20. It's back down to 18. Down to 16 now with six minutes left. Miss jumper. There's a jumper by Harmon who's got 15 points. Carraza with the dunk there. He's got 12. So it looks like we're going to come up short of 100. The offense sort of shut down a little bit in the second half. A couple of free throws by Fishback. They get a jumper. It's a 20-point game. There's a jumper by Fishback. He's got six now, and it's a 20-point game, 18-point game, as they steal the inbounds pass. In the paint, Fishback for two. 90 to 73 with three minutes left. 90 to 75 as they get a couple of turnovers on the inbounds. Two missed free throws. We get the putback, though, by Carraza. 17 point game. It's a 16 point lead now. With two minutes remaining. So I don't say we held on, but yeah, the second half was not nearly as good as the first. We were up by 24 or something. It's a 15 now. Make it 17 as Fishback gets that one. 94-79 under a minute left. And that will do it. Let's take a look at the stats. So for Coastal Carolina, Canty at 14, Moreland 13, Harris 6, Clay 4, Giles 2. Uh, they got some good production off the bench. Wilkes had 11, Die had 13, Kit had 11, uh, 3 for Smith, 2 for Moscow. Mooton and Cruz played and didn't score. They ended up shooting 54% from the field. They were only 2 of 11 from behind the line. 15 of 25 from the charity stripe uh, for us. Uh, Burris had 19, 17 of those in the first half, 8 rebounds. Nixon almost with a triple-double, 11 points, 11 assists, 8 rebounds, 3 blocks. Carraza had 14 and 4. Henderson had 9, 4, and 3. Harmon with an excellent shooting night, had 15 points, 3 rebounds, 4 blocks. Fishback with 10 off the bench. Sidelnikov and Varley each had 6. O'Neal and Angener each had 2. Gilmore played, didn't score. Shot 53%, 19 to 23 from the line. Turned it over 16 times, but we walk away with the victory and another conference championship. So let's move on. Okay, still can't do anything with recruiting. We'll sim ahead. All right, we got to play the rest of the conference tournament games. So I think we're going to end up with a, a low, you know, like a 12 or 13 somewhere in there, I would imagine. But we will see. Just keep checking recruiting to make sure I don't miss anything. I got to figure this out. We are going to be very shorthanded next year if we can't land another recruit. really not sure what to do to be honest with you it's i don't want to say it's frustrating but i get a lot of people interested but i just can't lock them down so we lose cedric morris we lose lawrence bishop so there's two more names off of our list and we're down to almost nothing here this is um not good not good at all so let's go ahead and offer these guys scholarships just because we need bodies uh, let's talk to some of them I think all these guys are, I don't think any of them are actually interested in us, so that's the problem. Yeah. I, I don't think we're going to land any of them. I think we're going to do the same thing we did last year and have to come out with um, a bunch of transfers. I'm not really sure what to do, to be completely honest. I don't know how to 
kind of close the deal, I guess is the best way to put it. And my recruiting is actually pretty good. The ratings have improved. All right, so that's everything. We're not in his top 10. Let's talk to Avery. Oops. He didn't like that, so let's go back to him. Let's call him again. Use the rest of the time we have. Nope, I don't do anything but make phone calls. All right, so that's that. So, that, yeah, I mean, we could be a, a transfer portal team, I guess, and only have players for one or two years at a time. All right, it's a selection show. It's about to be loud, so let's do that. All right, so let's watch the show. Let's see where we land. So we got an automatic bid again. My anticipation is a 12 or 13 seed, but we'll see. Let's take a look. Stetson, Jacksonville State, Alcorn State, Monmouth, Northern Kentucky, Duquesne, Illinois State, Davidson are the play-in games. Syracuse, uh, excuse me, Notre Dame will take on Stetson or Jacksonville State, Oregon against Cal Poly, Memphis, Texas, Florida, Michigan, Ohio State, San Jose State in the 512, Georgia Baylor in the 611, Miami, Arizona, and Alabama, Utah State in the 9 8 game. Indianapolis, North Carolina will take on Texas Southern, West Virginia against Louisiana Lafayette, Montana State against Indiana, Syracuse against BC, Florida State against the winner of Northern Kentucky, Duquesne, Mississippi State, Wichita State. Purdue Marquette, Kentucky USC, Louisville Winthrop, East Tennessee State Air Force, Wisconsin against Lafayette, Villanova Cincinnati, Clemson Illinois State Davidson, UCLA Georgetown, Michigan State San Francisco, and Kentucky LSU in the 8-9. So we are out west it seems. Washington against Alcorn State Monmouth winner, California against Grand Canyon, San Diego State, Eastern Washington. There we go. Iowa State against New Hampshire. I said probably on 11, 12, 13, and that's exactly where we are. Uh, against number 21, Iowa State. Providence against Butler. Creighton, Chattanooga. Boise State, Virginia Tech, New Mexico, Belmont. So we're going to be taking on the Iowa State Cyclones in the first round of the NCAA tournament. So let's go ahead and advance. And let's play that one, shall we? Let's see, I think this is just going to be yeah, Iowa State Scouting Report, Conference C. They were 20 and 9 on the year. Against top 25 teams, they were 2 and 5. Wins over Marquette and Creighton. Lost to Syracuse, Xavier, and Iowa. Uh, they a very balanced team. Four players between 10 and 11 points a game, kind of like us. Uh, except we're a bit higher scoring team. We scored 11. We were the top scoring team in uh, the NCAA this year, by the way. 81.7 points a game. Um, 177th in points allowed, but offensively, we were fantastic. We had the second highest rated offensive rating, 15th in field goal percentage. So we were a very good offensive team. So let's play this game against Iowa State. Or I guess we'll sim ahead to that game first, and then we'll play it. Eventually, I think it's coming up right here. Nope, still another game to play. All right, <laughs> we'll keep going. So the good news, like I said, is that we're going to advance to Conference L. So we're moving up into some of those higher conferences with some tougher teams. Um, can we do anything with recruiting? Or are we still, yeah, we're still waiting on that. I don't want anything to do with KC Cephas. Let's look at, let's just go in and let's look at full recruit list. And then we'll go, I'll look at some of the three-star players and see if maybe I can make a last-minute push. Uh, I don't suspect I'm going to be able to. I have a feeling we're going to get, like I said, we're going to be stuck doing nothing but uh, 
transfers this season, which is a bit of a bummer. But let's watch film on a bunch of these guys and see if we can. Yeah, these are all international guys. Maybe. I mean, maybe the international guys want to come play for us. Who knows? We'll see. All right, let's play this game. We've had some success with some international players before, so let's take on the Cyclones in the opening round. Switch that to AI control, and let's go. All right, so they start Abney, Holloway, Kama Brown, Maurice Thompson, Zach Fowler. Again, four of their starters averaging between 10 and 11 a game. For us, it's Henderson and Harmon, Nixon, Burris, and Carraza in the front court. All of our starters between 9.5 and, and 14. So should be a fun one. Let's see if we can pull off the upset. And we turn it over right away. You get a couple of foul shots, the first two points of the game. Shot missed by Carraza. We get it back. There's our first basket of the game as Corliss Harmon gets his first shot to go. And we get called for traveling. That's three turnovers here already for us. Carraza gets called for traveling. That's four turnovers already. Four turnovers and two shot attempts. Bad start. In the paint, Burris lays that one up and in. 7-4, Iowa State. Carraza in the paint for two. You get another three, so it's a three-point lead. Make it a one-point game as Henderson hits that one. You get a basket off of another turnover. We are five of six shooting, but we've turned the ball over five times. So not a great start, at least ball handling wise. We've done a good job shooting. That one's knocked out of bounds. We get it back, lay it up and in. We're now up by two. 13 to 11. Missed shot there. And we get the layup. We're now up four, making sure I'm recording. I am. Missed three-pointer. We get the ball back with a four-point lead. And Fishback hits the shot in the paint. Nixon doing his thing. Three points, four assists, two rebounds, and two steals already. Missed three. There's a three by Fishback from downtown. I like it when the big man is able to hit those shots. He's shooting 40% from behind the three-point line this year. There's a missed three. And they get a couple free throws to get within two. Two free throws for Gilmore, 22 to 18. They miss a three, get the offensive rebound. Long possession, missed shot. One out of two at the line. And Carraza gets the jumper, so we go up five. Five-point lead with the basketball, make it an eight-point lead as Varley hits the three. And Varley's going to be uh, huge for us next season. We're up 11 all of a sudden. Varley misses that one. Yeah, he's going to be really big for us next year because he's going to be one of the few players with experience. I don't know if he's going to start, but uh, there's a missed shot. So we're up eight. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to start for us next year, but he's going to play a whole lot more, that's for sure. Six turnovers now for us, and the lead's down to four. They're on a 7 nothing run. Fishback puts that one up and in. Two missed free throws. Can't have that. Three-pointer from the top of the key by Henderson is no good. 32 to 26 with three and a half left in the first bat first half. Fish back with the shot in the paint. Puts us back up eight. Make it eleven as we get an and one for I think that was fishback. 
three-pointer from the corner is no good. We get it right back, though. 37 to 26. Missed jumper by Nixon. Struggled with his shot here today. He's one of six. We're up eight. They get the ball back with 30 seconds left. Missed the shot. We come down with it. We missed the shot. They're going to get the final shot of the half. They miss it, and we go to halftime up eight, 37 to 29. So they were led by Thompson, who had 16 of their 29, 16 points, seven rebounds for him. Holloway had nine. Brown and Fowler had two. Abney started, didn't score. They got nothing from the bench. Davis, Bliss, Red, Buse, Leach all played and didn't score. They were a combined 0 of 9 shooting. 8 of 26 from the floor, 3 of 9 from behind the three-point line, 10 of 11 from the charity stripe. They turned it over 10 times. For us, Carraza led our starters with 7 and 4. Nixon only had 3 points on 1 of 6 shooting, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals. He's just doing his thing. Uh, Henderson had 4. Burris and Harmon each had 2. Fishback with 12 off the bench to lead us in scoring. Varley had three, Sedan Lakoff had two, Gilmore had a bucket. O'Neill and Angner both played and didn't score. We only shot 44%, three of 10 from behind the three point line, four of six from the charity stripe. We only turned it over once in the last, I'd say, 12 minutes of the first half. So, um, got better there as the half went on. So, we're up eight as we look to move on to the round of 32. They hit a three pointer right off the bat to get within five. Harmon gets a jumper to put us up seven. And then another jumper by Henderson to put us back up nine. Two free throws make it a seven-point game. There's a turnover. It's a five-point game. Shot in the paint by Carraza. Offense comes out cooking here. Defense has been a little lackluster so far. Missed three-pointer. They hit a three. It's a four-point game. It's an eight-point lead to start the second half. It's down to four now. Long jumper, no good. They missed the three. Carraza in the paint, no good. That's four straight misses. They hit a three, and they're down one. Another missed shot for us. Our basketball with a one-point lead. The fish back in the paint. Yeah, anytime... The offense starts to struggle. We just get a download of Fishback, and he's able to sort it out. So, Fishback misses both free throws. We get the, uh, the, the rebound, though, and Nixon puts that one up and in. So we're up three. It's a one-point game again. Carraza in the paint hits that one. Back to a three-point lead, and they tie it with a three-pointer. They have a chance to take the lead now. Not a good start to the second half for us. We were up by eight. We're now down by a point. So they've outscored us by nine here. Three-pointer, though, by O'Neal. Puts us back up two. So Hayward O'Neal coming out of nowhere, providing a little bit of offense. There's a turnover, and they are up by a point. Missed the shot, 53-52, Iowa State with the lead. Missed three-pointer. Our shots are not falling in this one. This is, I mean, we're, I mean we're, we're down four all of a sudden. One of the best offensive teams, or the best offensive team point-wise in the NCAAs this year as we tie it up there with four quick points. They hit a three, and they're up three. Fish back in the paint, puts that one up. We're down by a point. Tight game here. Trying to get a turnover or a missed shot. There's the turnover. And we give it right back. They get one out of two at the line. Carraza in the paint for two. And they go back up by two. What a good game here. They get a technical free throw, it looks like. And now they're up five with six minutes left. Two free throws by Carraza. It's a three-point game. They had a three and we're down six. This is starting to get worrisome. 
They hit a three and we're down nine. So this one is starting to get away from us. There's a three-pointer by Carraza to get us within six. But they shoot a three, miss it, get another three, but miss that one. Carraza in the paint again, misses that one. It's an eight-point game, three and a half minutes left. There's a basket by Nixon. Yeah, they just aren't missing here in the second half, and we are not doing so well. Eight-point lead, two free throws. We're down six with two minutes left. It's our ball. We're down six, and we turn it over. They hit a three, and that's going to just about do it. So we're now down nine with a minute 20 left. Yep, this game is over. So that's disappointing. We had an 11-point lead at one point. We're up by 8 at half, and we're now down by 13. The offense just stalled in the second half. I don't know what else to say. Two free, One out of two for Nixon at the line. And we lose by 13. So, yeah, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, 37 points in the first half, 34 in the second. But what really killed us was their uh, defense. Was our defense? They put up 55 points in the second half. Uh, Thompson led the way, 29 points, 12 rebounds, 14 to 16 from the charity stripe. Holloway had 15. Uh, Abney with eight. Fowler and Brown with four each. Bliss had 11. Red six. Leach five. And that's that. On the other side, Carraza had 18 for us. Nixon 11 points, nine rebounds, nine assists, four steals. Burris had just an absolute nightmare of a game in his final college game. Two points, one rebound. Harmon in his final game for us, eight points, eight rebounds, four assists. Henderson in his final game for us, six points, two assists. Uh, Sedelnikov in his last game had two. Gilmore in his last game had two. Or excuse me, O'Neal in his last game had three. So uh, our season's over. So let's go ahead and sim ahead to the end of the season and we'll call it an episode and then next episode will be um well i don't know maybe maybe i'll just sim ahead to that first game and we'll play that first game in next year i don't know because i haven't been going for too too long how long have i been recording for well 30 37 minutes that's about 30 minutes of video maybe give or take um so let's just sim ahead here till the end of the season and we'll see where we stand so uh, let's look at interested recruits. Um, all, are any of these guys actually interested in us? No. But it's time. It's time to uh, visit them. So we will see what happens. So Chris Brown, uh, what's important to him? Did I not talk to, are you kidding? What's wrong with me? Why can I not call him? All right, well, let's pitch him playing time, I guess. Um, Nolan, location and playing time. We'll offer him playing time as well. I don't think in the long, in the scheme of things, it's going to matter. I don't think any of these guys are going to sign with us. Let's do conference prestige for Rashawn Williams. And Jason Avery, we will do facilities. And then all these guys will tell us no, and we'll have no recruits left. And that's just how this works. Keep simming ahead. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Had to readjust my position in my squeaky chair. I don't think we're doing anything here. No, let's let's do this. Let's go back here and let's look at a few more recruits and see if we can see if we can do anything. I think that might be my problem. I, I don't know if, if, if it's a matter of me aiming too high. I think it's a matter of me going all in on people who ultimately won't sign with me. So I need to cast that net a bit wider maybe. 
because what I really don't want to do is is fall back. So if, if we have to spend a couple seasons at a particular level, that's fine. I just don't want to put myself in a position where um, where I have to uh, um, work my way back up. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to go from Conference M back to Conference N. I'd rather just – I have to stay in M for two or three years because recruiting is – stumbled a bit that's fine but i don't want to go backwards we've made really good progress and i don't want this series to go on for months and months and months and months so i would like to to uh um yeah i'd like to to just keep moving forward and see how long it takes us to win a national championship and then presumably that'll be the end so let's take a look all these are going to be people telling us they're not interested Oh, Avery said it went really well. Sean Williams, no. That one went really well. That one, no. Okay, so a couple of them went really well, which is something. Uh, are any of them interested in us now? Yeah, they are. We got Nolan interested in us. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back here. Let's go to let's go to Offered first, and let's pull the scholarship from from. Uh, no, not from. Um, from oh, so we can't visit. All right, so let's go to interested recruits. All levels. All right, so Nolan, Avery. Well, that's good. That's better than I anticipated. Um, so if we could get Nolan, that would be something. Where is he on our list? Eighth. Okay. How can we... Do we try? I've never seen, I've never, we may as well try. I've never actually tested this part of the game. Ugh. Well, that sucks. Okay, because that's going to hurt. <laughs> he wasn't interested. All right, let's talk to him. Let's see if we can work our way out of that. I'm on the list. A couple schools ahead. Hopefully that doesn't kill us that sucks uh but let's uh let's go back to let's do this let's go three star recruits uh full recruit list and let's start talking to some of these other guys i can't gauge their interest because i don't have any more spots available up here so i just have to watch film and See if I can generate some interest that way. All right. And we're also running low on money. So this could be another year where I ask for more money. So we finished season 23 and 8. It's not bad. You know, that 20 win mark is sort of that 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 point, I guess, where, uh, um, you know, you consider it a, a pretty good season. So I'll take it. Come on, NCAA tournament. Let's go. Finish up here. Holy Cross defeated Tennessee. Can I do anything here? Uh, interested recruits. Yeah, we're still in the same uh, recruiting week. East Tennessee State with a one-point win over Washington. Number 13 seed advances. That's cool. Check again. All right. Did I lose him? I didn't lose him, thankfully, but... Okay, we're still at number eight, so let's... Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing I can do at this point other than just watch film on these guys. Um, yeah, these guys are the dummies, so I can't do anything with them. Let's just sim ahead. I mean, I don't. I still don't think I'm gonna land anybody, but you know, maybe I can convince one of those guys to come play for me. Looks like Notre Dame. Notre Dame wins the national championship over Middle Tennessee State. 
didn't see that come. And the number 13 seed makes it to the national championship game. So that's the end of the season. Let's go look at the awards. This is going to be loud. Sorry. <laughs> So let's take a look at Conference N, or M, rather. Sean Nixon, no surprise, was the player of the year and the defensive player of the year. I was the coach of the year. First team, Nixon made it. Uh, he was our only one. Second team, uh, Ward Burris made it, even though he had a bad final game of the season. Let's see. Anything happen here? I don't want any jobs. Season review. I, what do you mean? School School prestige dropped from 33 to 29. That stinks, even though we won another 23 games. I this I don't understand. Like I shouldn't say I don't understand, but I mean, we've moved from like Conference V to Conference L in like eight years. So um it's, you know, we've played well. I'm not sure. Oh, good. We can visit again. So Nolan, uh, let's go playing time with Nolan. Uh, Avery, Conf I think we did facilities last time. So let's do conference. Actually, let's talk to him and see what playing time, how important playing time is to him. Oh, we already got playing time. Let's just get the rest of these. All right, so let's take a look now. Location, conference, prestige. Yeah, let's do conference prestige. Let's watch film from. Uh, let's talk to him. Uh, let's see what else is interesting. Let's see what else is important to him. All right, any of those important? I missed one or two of them. Location, but he lives in Colorado Springs. So we're going to go off off board here, and we're going to uh, talk about academics. Well, no, he, he was only a, only at a 2-3, so let's talk about coach discipline. Let's see how that works. I've never actually tried coach discipline. And then Brown. For some reason, I can't talk to him. Uh, but we will pitch location because he's in New Hampshire. And let's see how that works. I don't need a job. A lot of messages. Hopefully some of them are recruits coming to us. Chris Brown signed an oh good so we signed three uh three recruits or two recruits there Brown and Darnell Nolan so that works all right so let's look at the recruit class real quick wait where did the other guy go hold on there were two what happened to the other one um inbox Oh, Chris Brown signed with Dartmouth. Okay. All right, so we got Darnell Nolan, which is better than nothing. So we bring in a four-star recruit, number 119 overall, 23rd at his position. Uh, so let's go back and look at what we have left. Jason Avery is still there. Um, we're going to keep visiting because we want to see if we can secure him. So let's go playing time this time. We can't offer Casey Cephas anything because, well, we just can't because he's dumb and can't come to our school. So let's advance. I don't think I need any coaches. Let's go ahead and advance that to the end. And I'm going to sim ahead until the, it tells me we are at the 
end of the season, the official end of the season, which will be the transfer portal next season. We'll call that an episode, and the next episode we'll do the transfer portal and one game, and then that'll be that episode. So we're moving along here. I was a little concerned about not being able to sign that recruit after I tried to offer him a bribe. He seemed insulted, but he apparently he liked what we gave him or liked what we told him when we visited him. There's one message. Two, three, four. So we have four messages. So we signed Jason Avery. Perfect. So that that makes our uh, our our recruiting class look a whole lot better. We have the 119th, the 161st overall recruits in the nation coming to New Hampshire next year. Meeting with the board, we need more money. Do we get more money? Request approved. Fantastic. It gave us great. It gave us another $6,000. <laughs> $6,700. All right. So that works. So we have two new recruits. Um, I don't think we can do it. Yeah, recruiting's not available. So we're done. So we pick up our two recruits. That works. I'm going to save it before it crashes. Um, and that's going to do it for this episode. So I think, um, yeah, I think what we'll do is. Uh, um, I think what I might do actually is sim the off season off camera and play up to that first game. And then, um, I don't know how I want to do this. I'm sort of off schedule here. It's a little weird. Um, let's see. Is Andrew Kappel still not available? Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, but all I know is that this is the end of this episode. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Leave a like, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. And until we talk again, everybody take care. Bye.